Hi there, it's Nicole McGuirth with this week's From Start to Finish video. This week's layout features lots of bright colors and in how to include lots of embellishment and dimension without the bulk. Um, I had several requests to show more of the entire process, so um, I'm going to start with my photos here that I printed on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. The largest photo is a 4 by 6 and the two smaller ones are two by three. So I'm just cutting them out and leaving a little bit of the white edge around the photos, and it's an instant photo mat for those photos. Next, I'm gonna share the, the paper I chose, and I just kind of picked out several papers. Most of these are Jelly Bean, and then some brown cardstock from American Crafts, and that red with white polka dot is October Afternoon, the Modern Homemaker Collection. So I've got some paper, I've got my photos, and then I did sketch out a little bit of my design. It's not real nice or neat. I also took an old narratives journaling page, and a new hero art stamp. And uh, I'm not gonna strictly adhere to my sketch, but it gives me a starting place. And then I pulled out a whole bunch of October Afternoon and Jelly Bean Soup stickers just to kind of see what I wanted to work with. The first thing I'm going to do is trim down my brown cardstock to about 10 and a quarter inch square. And then I'm going to adhere that to the camera background checking the dimensions of my journaling notebook page and I'm trimming down this blue jelly bean soup paper to 4 by 10. And then the floral jelly bean paper to 6 by 10. I'm also going to cut a strip from this cute little photo strip with little the little patterns of paper in it. I'm just going to cut one of those strips right from the sheet of paper to use on my page. Going back to the papers I chose, that red October afternoon paper, I felt like I needed a red to tie in with the rest of the papers. And while this Jelly Bean Soup collection does have some red paper, it wasn't quite as intense red as what I wanted. And I happened to see the Modern Homebreaker paper laying out or nearby and I thought it would be perfect and as it was as it were it it did work out great. Now I haven't adhered anything I am simply laying out my photos and the paper I've trimmed down and a few other elements just to make sure that I like the design of the page before I adhere anything. I'm gonna put my stamp there and that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all of that stuff now. I did cut a piece of vellum down to cover up those uh, flowers to tone them down just a little bit on the bottom half of the page so that my photos really stand out against, against my layout because there's quite a bit going on, but I still want the focus to be on the story and the photos. And I adjust things a lot and move them around and see how I like them before committing to applying adhesive to anything. So I'm kind of slow like that. I'll look at it a little bit and walk around and decide. For the next step, I used a stamp a majig to stamp this girl hero art stamp on that narratives journaling page. And I like to apply a little adhesive to the back to small pieces like this so that they don't slide around on me when I go to stamp on them. So once I have that all lined up where I want it, I'm going to stamp her really good. And you can see how cute that is. And it just is starting to customize where I'm going to add my journaling. So now that I like the design and it's going the way I want to, I'm going to go ahead and start adhering some of the base pieces to my page. You can see I'm adhering the pattern paper that I trimmed down. 
And then I'm going to apply just a tiny bit of adhesive there at the top of that floral design paper and adhere the vellum. And then that adhesive will be covered up with that photo strip here in a little bit. So here is everything so far that's adhered. And I'm going to take a sticker border from the Coordinating Jelly Bean Soup collection and adhere it right there above my photos and below that strip of paper. And I'm going to adhere another sticker strip from that same Jelly Bean Soup collection right above the other one. Just lining that up really good. And then I'll adhere my pattern paper strip just like that. And a lot of times I'll work upside down just to make sure I get everything even and the way I want it. Um, I did grab a Technique Tuesday Allie Edwards stamp. And I'm going to just ink it up with some red ink and stamp it right there at the top of my computer printed journaling. And I did run the journaling notebook page through my printer to add the journaling. And then I can adhere that at the top of the page as well. And now I can apply that strip of paper since I've adhered my journaling. Just make sure I get that all lined up really well so it's nice and straight. Then I'm going to go ahead and use some spray adhesive to adhere the die cut date that I did here. Now you could use letter stickers, rub-ons, all kinds of things. I just chose to use a, a die cut design because that's what I like, but you could use anything that you, that you want. I'm going to punch a couple of half circles out of a scrap of paper left over. That's the Modern Homemaker, cute little red dot there that I used for the title. And I'm going to just tuck those circles underneath each side of my journaling. And I'm going to punch a couple more circles from one of the coordinating jelly bean soup papers and layer those on top. And I'm not going to put them directly in the center of the circle. I'm going to offset them a little bit. It just adds interest and kind of makes it fun and more whimsical. If you like things lined up, um, go ahead and line them up. That's a fun embellishment as well. I'm going to take, I'm looking through my stickers to see what I have there, and I'm going to take this jelly bean soup sticker and cut it in half and tuck, tuck each half on each side there. I originally thought I might add brad, so I'd poke some holes, but I decided I wanted to do the sticker instead because I like the pop of color. Tucked another label sticker, this one from October Afternoon, underneath those two smaller photos and this little border strip sticker from Jelly Bean Soup. Just adding a little bit more color near the bottom of the page since there's so much going on at the top of the page. Another little label or tab sticker there that I'll staple in place with a tiny attacher. And I also sewed on the doodle bug buttons. Just a few of them. Those are the only thing that are really dimensional in the, on the whole page. For more information, plus the supplies that I used to complete this page, please visit twopeasinabucket.com on January 19th, 2011. Thanks for watching.